And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 12th of March, 2021. It's the birthday of the poet Naomi Shihab Nye, born in St. Louis, 1952, daughter of an American and a Pakistani refugee. It's the birthday of Edward Albee, born Washington, D.C., 1928, who gave us the zoo story and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Dave Eggers, born in Boston, 1970, author of the best-selling memoir, A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius. It's the birthday of the novelist and journalist Carl Hyacin, born Plantation, Florida, 1953. Started out as a newspaper reporter, became a reporter and columnist at the Miami Herald, author of comic novels such as Tourist Season, Striptease, Sick Puppy, and Razor Girl. And it's the birthday of Jack Kerouac, born in Lowell, Massachusetts, 1922, best known for his novel of 1957, On the Road, Sal Paradise, drifting around the country with his friend Dean Moriarty. In the book, Sal Paradise says, The only people for me are the mad ones, the ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time, the ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing but burn, burn like fabulous yellow Roman candles. Kerouac's parents were immigrants from Quebec, and he spoke French before he learned English. Got a football scholarship to Columbia, broke his leg, quit the team, met Allen Ginsberg in New York, and William Burroughs wrote a rather traditional first novel called Town and the City. Came out in 1950, got good reviews, didn't earn much money. And then he met Neil Cassidy, and Cassidy and Kerouac crossed the United States back and forth, series of adventures that inspired the novel On the Road, which he wrote on a continuous scroll of paper more than 120 feet long, though the last several feet had to be retyped after a dog chewed on them. Jack Kerouac, also author of The Dharma Bums, Dr. Sachs, Maggie Cassidy, and The Subterraneans. Jack Kerouac, who said, I'm only a jolly storyteller and have nothing to do with politics or schemes, and my only plan is the old Chinese way of the Tao. Avoid the authorities. Here's a poem for today by Maria Maziati Gillen, Everything We Don't Want Them to Know. At 11, my granddaughter looks like my daughter did that slender body, that thin face, the grace with which she moves. When she visits, she sits with my daughter. They have hot chocolate together and talk. The way my granddaughter moves her hands, the concentration with which she does everything, knocks me back to the time when I sat with my daughter at this table, and we talked, and I watched the grace with which she moved her hands, the delicate way she lifted the heavy hair back behind her ear. My daughter is grown now, married in a fairy tale wedding, divorced, something inside her broken, healing slowly. I look at my granddaughter and I want to save her as I was not able to save my daughter. Nothing is that simple, all our plans carefully made, thrown into a cracked pile by the way love betrays us. Everything We Don't Want Them to Know, a poem by Maria Maziati Gillen from her collection All That Lies Between Us, published by Guernica Editions, used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.